uh, PAPS will automatically enhance the trade in local currencies. It will cause the local currencies to begin to appreciate and for us to be able to find the true values of these local currencies. On behalf of His Excellency, President Nana Adodankwa Kofuado, it is my great pleasure and honor to welcome you all to Accra and to the commercial launch of the Pan-African Payment and Settlement Systems, PAPS, being spearheaded by the AFCFTA Secretariat in collaboration with AfriExim Bank. I'm particularly delighted about the progress made to roll out the payment and settlement system aimed at facilitating intra-Africa trade. As you are all aware, the underlying motive behind our integration program is the expectation that through collaborative efforts, participating countries in the integration programs would generate maximum socioeconomic benefits for their citizens in the sub-region. Regional integration, undoubtedly, is an efficient tool for overcoming the constraints imposed by the nature and size of individual national markets. It has been realized that if production of goods and services is carried out in an enlarged regional economic space, there is a greater chance of achieving substantial economic benefits. Africa has about 55 countries, 42 currencies, and about four exchange rate systems or regimes in operation. Most of the currencies are characterized by illiquidity and lack of convertibility, and this discourages intra-African trade. Available trade statistics provided by the African Union in its Afri annual trade report of 2020 indicates that intra-African trade remains low with an average of 13% for intra-Africa imports and 20% for intra-African exports over the period of the last seven years. These tra trade payments and relationships are characterized by settlement involving foreign exchange use, which sometimes puts pressure on African currencies coupled with issues relating to the speed of transactions, convenience, and high cost of these transactions. It is this reality that has resulted in a call for a common African currency since 1963 to facilitate trade amongst other objectives. Over the years, there has been tremendous emphasis by central banks on the development of domestic payment systems, such as the real-time gross settlement system, automated clearing house, security settlement systems, automated check processing systems, national switches, and so on. However, there has been less of a focus on cross-border or intra-African payments. Notwithstanding their significance, intra-African payments faced various challenges, including cost, access, speed, and transparency. On a related note, we have also witnessed the negative effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on economies across the globe, and more especially on our African economies. We are now in a better position to reduce this trade informality by coming together to provide the required integrated payments infrastructure and systems. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the African continental free trade area has been given the mandate of promoting intra-regional trade, the fulfillment of which requires the support of all African central banks as supervisors of the payment systems 
to ensure seamless transfer of funds across the continent. The AfriExim Bank has expressed its determination to assist the AFCFTA to contribute to the development of sound, effective, and efficient payment systems and payment services in several ways. In this regard, I, it is in this regard that I applaud the AFCFTA and the Africa Exim Bank for initiating the Pan-African Payment and Settlement System PAPS. And I'm sure you will agree with me that with the launch of the PAPS that we are doing today, the building blocks of the AFCFTA are progressively falling into place. As has already been noted, PAPS was commissioned at the 12th Extraordinary Summit of the Assembly of African Union on July 7, 2019 in Niamey, the Republic of Niger, as, the operate, as one of the operating instruments of the AFCFTA, an instrument to boost intra-African trade, stimulate industrialization, and promote sustainable and inclusive economic growth in Africa. Today's commercial launch of the PAPS is the result of many, many months of hard work, dedication, resolve, and an unwavering commitment to meet the set objective. I'm pleased to note that the PAPS has demonstrated credibility through its successful pilot and proof of concept in the WAMS which is the West African Monetary Zone, which provided the appropriate context, multilingual, multi-currency, multi-regulator, and so on, as anticipated in the larger African context. We can therefore say with pride that the efforts have borne the desired fruits and that we have successfully met the objective we set for ourselves. The AFCFTA presents an opportunity not only to end the cycle of dependency, but also to diversify and develop our economies through trade and industry. In fact, increased intra-Africa trade will encourage industrialization and therefore local production because it is these made in Africa products and goods meeting the rules of origin that will benefit from this privileged access to the continental market. Ladies and gentlemen, the PAPS, which will allow member states to transfer funds within Africa on the same day and at a lower cost, is set to benefit Africa's exporters and importers by providing a faster, safer, and secure transfer of funds. Businesses and traders would no longer have to spend days waiting for the confirmation of receipts of funds to facilitate trade, as payments will be cleared and settled in real time. It provides a simplified process that reduces the costs and complexities of foreign exchange for cross-border transactions between African markets. The biggest beneficiaries of PAPS will be small and medium-sized businesses and investors who make high-value payments across the borders and consumers who have been using informal means to make cross-border payments. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in my humble opinion, PAPS is an African solution to an African problem. And it is the most practical and the most important achievement in payment system integration on the African continent since independence from colonial rule. It is the closest, perhaps is the closest Africa has come to the benefits of a common currency and we are achieving this through a common digital platform. We as Africans should be very proud of this historic feat, 
which demonstrates how the application of digital technology can solve many problems that we are facing individually and collectively. I wish to reiterate that the AFCFTA regulatory framework for financial services should encourage member states' payments services regulation to converge towards international regulatory standards such as those proposed by the Financial Action Task Force on Anti-Money Laundering and countering the financing of terrorism and the CPMI World Bank general principles for international remittance services. A genuine commitment to mutual recognition of regulatory regimes will also alleviate some of the challenges of regulatory divergence. I'm very glad to note that through the Afri Exim Bank, West African Central Banks have made progress in the integration of the regional real-time gross settlement systems, and transactions are also successfully settled on net basis in local currency. This singular initiative provides lessons for replication and eventual linkage of all African Central Banks' RCGS systems. It sets the stage practically for the commencement of the operational rollout of the PAPS. And I want to ask all central banks, I mean, we want to see PAPS really become fully operational across all the banks on the continent. And in this regard, a free exam bank FCFTA and the central bank governors, you have a key role to play. But for the central bank governors, it is very, very important to, know, to, to help uh, accelerate the process by making sure your respective national switches, the respective national switches in each of these countries are connected directly into PAPS. Why do I say so? Because if we connect the national switches, that means you are connecting all your banks. So we do not have to rely on individual banks connecting into PAPS. So we want to, I want to encourage all the central banks to really make sure that your respective national switches are uh, directly connected to PAPS, which will mean, therefore, uh, pretty much all the banks in Africa will be connected into PAPS and we'll see the full benefits of it. This is a historic day. Let us celebrate. Thank you all for your attention.